Okay, taking the ducks out for a little outing. It's gorgeous out today. It's so warm. They're actually, we got them a little pool. The kids brought a little container out, put some water in it. And they are just bathing and basking in the sun and eating bugs and oh, they're so cute. We couldn't do this with any of our ducks before because we had too many at a time. <laughs> and it wasn't as nice out. So, yeah, we have a little pool oh, they're just the cutest. We'll see if we can't get them in the water too. sound of them laughing and then the sound of the hummingbirds it's just about as much as I can handle man these days are great okay let's go see who's outside today oh the babies we let them out last night for a little time outside and they went crazy they took to it i'm sorry my video is all weird um but these guys are super happy being outside are you guys happy to be outside now the guineas sound so cool love them so today then we will go up and assess the birdhouse to see what kind of room we have because these guys are roosting on that on those um, service ba service berry roost in there that Brandon built. So I don't want to close that off for the new birds, but I have to come up with a new area for them to be then, maybe on the other side of the house. But we've got the five smaller chicks downstairs that are ready to go out into the house now that these guys are loose. And you can see Randall didn't attack any of them last night. So I don't know, I call it a win. Another beautiful day out. The leaves are starting to come out on the aspens. Can you see that? Here are all the hummingbirds. Man, this is why we moved here. <laughs> we finally are in it. But um, yeah, we heard some pipping this morning from our 12 eggs that are in the incubator. So I think, I don't know. We're gonna have to go through the process today and figure out what we're gonna do. So these guys are out. We'll move the other five chicks up into the house and then we'll move the ducklings maybe into the big metal brooder and then have that other brooder for the 12. I'm not sure how we're, I'm not sure how that's gonna look yet. I kinda wanna keep the ducklings in that tote because it's easier to clean, but I don't know. I'll take you down there later and show you. All right, so we're on day 20 with these guys. So in the next couple days, we should have lots of little birds hatching, but I just heard some pipping this morning. This is about the day that the, the first eggs that were laid the earliest start hatching, and then it'll just go for the next three, four days. Makes it kind of exciting. Stay tuned. Okay, so, uh-huh. These guys think, oh, this is my cage, so I need to come in here. No, this is for the new birds. You got to go. <laughs> Out you go. Abby, can you close the gate? All right, new babies. All right, so the Betty Randall Easter babies are up in the big house now. You saw earlier that there's some pipping going on in the incubator. I still have yet to see any signs of breakage of any shells, but next 24 hours, and then the next few days are gonna be pretty exciting with hatching again. So yeah, good to get these guys outside. They were getting way too big for that, for that little tote. And that way, because we have 12 eggs hatching this time, I think 
I don't know. I'm not sure how many are going to hatch, to be honest, but um, I'm hoping the majority of them hatch, and then we're going to need a lot more room so that horse trough, um, that galvanized steel trough or whatever we have down in that guest room, that will be a good size for them. But yeah, this is a nice big area for them to, for these guys. Just enough to get to know everybody. And man, oh man, are these guys curious. They keep thinking, I should go in there. That's not for you guys anymore. You go outside now, you're big birds now. <laughs> They're so cute. So this has been a long time in the making. These garden boxes need to be disassembled ASAP. And I've got garlic growing randomly, I don't know. This one, gotta take off these panels, but I've got my trusty sidekick here, so I think we're gonna be good, get it all done. I'm so itchy. <laughs> and the bugs are out. Okay, first time driving the car. It's a stick shift, so he's gonna go for a little practice run before he goes to work. Pretty exciting. Wow, impressive. I am totally in my happy place now. Look at all these little babies out. So nice out. We got the basketball hoop going. Kids are outside playing. I'm in shorts. I mean, pretty awesome. Okay, I didn't even know this one was hatching <laughs> until all of a sudden I heard two little birds in there. So. We've got two Easter babies so far, which that was the case last time. We only got, I think, one Betty egg hatched. So we have six of each this time, and two have hatched. One is about to hatch, I think. Um, yeah, so we'll just see what the day brings us. They're so cute, though. Just a friend helping a friend out here. So there's this little, little dude in here that's wanting to come out, but I don't think this one's being very patient. And then you can see that other little one in there, and that's it, three so far. So hopefully tomorrow morning we have a few more. And look at these three coming for a little lunch visit. <laughs> it's usually at night. From the deer to the hummingbird, I just, I mean, seriously, <laughs> it's hard not to be super, super thankful. And then check out this view. Yeah, pretty great. Oh, here's Apollo. We're just out here at our little local animal shelter walking a couple dogs that need homes. Isn't he so handsome? And usually, this is Apollo. He usually pit bulls don't love me, but I can actually pet this one. So and he's cool. He's got two different colored eyes. But man, is he strong or what? <laughs> okay, so the boys are turning 11 next week, and they wanted to have a couple friends over. So we had the two boys come over yesterday afternoon, and they were so busy. So let me give you a rundown of what they've been doing. So they did archery, they did bike riding, they did wood chopping, they did fire starting with flint and steel, they did woods exploring, they slept on the trampoline under the stars. I mean, it was an epic birthday party. So thank you guys for allowing your children to come here and be a part of the boys' birthday. They had a blast. God bless free-ranging animals. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, can you tell what we just did? <laughs> Show you guys what we have in a couple minutes. Okay, so we brought some pigs home today, and they're a little smaller than we thought, and they've escaped. So now we're rushing quickly to get the, um, so this fencing right here, it's too big, they can get through that. So if this was all the way cleared, then it wouldn't be a problem, but here we go. Okay, they seem to be exploring a little bit more and doing some rooting like pigs should. Gave them some food, just some little cherry tomatoes and something to keep them busy while we get some fencing figured out. This is why we keep all of our extra stuff. For situations like you guys. Oh my god, aren't they cute? So these are Mangalistas. They're a different breed that we've than we've raised before. Um, but we're actually getting another breed of pig as well. And then we're gonna try our hand at, at breeding. So wish us well. Alright, the ducks are finding the last little bit of snow. This is it on the property. And they're all coming. You see that? Kids on the tramp overnight. <laughs> Let's go wake the birds up. As you can hear, they're very excited to get out. Were you excited to get out this morning? Always. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Phoenix? Oh, hi, Turkey. Oh, good, good jump. This is the, this is his first, these guys' first time without the heat lamp at night, so we'll see how they did. Looks pretty good. And let's go check on the pig. Okay, so about 9.30 last night we came out to check, no, about 9. It was get pretty dark. We went and checked on these guys, and oh, <laughs> luckily our neighbor was out here, and we were coming to check on these guys and he called out and said, uh, hey, are two of these pigs supposed to be loose? So we had strung metal wire where we didn't have any more extra paneling along the bottom while they squeezed through. So they were out, two of them were. Luckily the other two didn't get out. So they were able to just kind of stay by the fence and they didn't go very far, but I was so nervous all night. I was up listening if I could hear them. So we have tires totally just, I mean, we're very redneck here apparently. And it's all blocked off now, but it's only temporary for just, it was just for last night, just to keep them in. They made it through the night in their straw. I was a little worried cause it's, it's a good 45 degrees in the morning here right now. So just wanted to make sure that they were warm enough. I can see they're kind of shivering when they come out, but they look good. But yeah, check out my, <laughs> we're rolling tires last night at 9.15, 9.30.
but hey, that's what you gotta do to keep your animals safe, right? Well, what a crazy week it was. So we're starting this week with brand new piggies. Um, we are going to try our hand at actual pig farming on a small scale, obviously, because we only have a little less than five acres, but they are magnificent. They made it through their first night and are eating and doing all the wonderful things. So now we just have to get them used to us and get the rest of their enclosure cleaned out. And we'll take you along for all of that. And then in a couple months, we're actually gonna get some more pigs that we are going to either crossbreed with these guys or we haven't quite decided what we're gonna do. But all very, very exciting. So between the new chicks and the new ducklings and the new pigs, we have got our hands full. So there's gonna be a lot of really fun footage in the next couple months, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, everybody's doing well here. Happy, the boys are turning 11 this week. So they got to celebrate with their friends this last weekend. They slept on the trampoline and got to do archery and chop wood and do all the homesteady stuff that we do here. So it was a great, great week. Kind of tiring, but you know, that's part of this life. So we like it. So I hope everybody's doing well. And with that, we will talk soon.